Gentleman from Florida, Mr. Waltz. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Secretary, we wish you uh, continued improvement to your health, but this hearing today isn't about you. It's not about your privacy. It's not about what you desire. It's not about your health. This is about the chain of command and civilian oversight of the most powerful military in the world that's charged with keeping the, Mer the American people safe. So I want to be sure uh, that the, as the American people watch this, we have a couple of things clear. According to your report, it says, given the inability to provide timely communication to the secretary while in critical care, the secretary's military assistants agreed that the transfer authorities to the deputy secretary was necessary. Mr. Secretary, on January 2nd at that time, when they made that decision, were you conscious? I, I was conscious, yeah. Okay, so you were able to make that decision yourself. You are of sound mind to make that decision yourself. They did not have access to me to, to be able to. Uh, for so there was then a disconnect that. for your ability to command the military through secure communications because they couldn't access to you, And correct? it was determined that, uh, and they were advised by the doctors that they wouldn't be able to access me or, or gain access to me. And so that's the tripwire to, uh, to transfer authorities. And they okay. followed a procedure. But let's talk about whether there was a break because you've, testified under oath there was no gap. Did the President of the United States, the Commander-in-Chief, know on the 1st of January you were going to the hospital in an ambulance? He, he did not. Did he know on the 2nd of January that you had been admitted to critical care in the ICU? He did not. The Commander-in-Chief elected by the American people, civilian oversight of the military, didn't know on January 1st, didn't know on January 2nd. January 3rd comes around. Did the President know? He did not. Yes or no? He did not. How long does it take? I mean, we could go through a number of scenarios. How long does it take a hypersonic missile as a first strike weapon to hit the United States? 15, 30 minutes max? Uh, well, you know, I, I, ICBM, I mean, it's commonly out there. ICBM from North Korea, 30 minutes. Make a decision. So, so we've been clear that uh, the notification was not, uh, was not uh, Mr. adequate, but, Mr. but the, the, the transfer of authorities. Right. When is it but, the, but the President of the United States, as the Commander-in-Chief, doesn't know for three days his Secretary of Defense is incapacitated and in critical care. Correct? In critical care, uh, not what, incapacitated. And right. the President of the United States doesn't know that his Secretary of Defense can't access secure comms, correct? He That's doesn't right. know. But, but the deputy uh, is fully empowered and, and has full, full access to everything she needs. Mr. Secretary, who made the decision, uh, just in the time I have remaining, who made the, so your report says the Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs was, not, was informed of the transfer of authority. Who made the decision for that individual to not inform the American people? Uh, I, I, I can't answer that. Again. Did he make that decision? Did I make that decision? No. Did the Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs make the decision. I, I, I can't. You just had a 30-day review. You don't know who made the decision to not take, tell the American people? Uh, I, I know that he, was, uh, that he was aware on the second. I don't know uh, what uh, decision-making processes that, that... To inform the public, you don't know today. You don't know who made the decision to not inform the public. I, I'm not sure that there was a decision to not inform the public. I know that that he had the information. Uh, Mr. Secretary, in the time I have remaining, the Commandant of the Marine Corps had a medical incident and informed the American people and you. And here's what's missing here. This is not about process. You made this about process. This is about judgment and poor judgment. My teenage daughter knows to tell her supervisor if she's not going to work. The American people, truck drivers, bartenders, know they have to tell their boss or they get fired but you've held yourself to a different standard, and that's unacceptable. Mr. Gentlemen's time has expired.